Hey, it's Ragtar, and as you can see at the Ghost of the Galaxy, there is a Daredevil Comet! That's right, a motherfucking Daredevil Comet. Which means that I'm gonna have to do something while I only have but a mere single orb of life. And by the way, I talked about this, yep, I talked about this place's Daredevil Run in the last episode, and I told you how realistically this place's Daredevil Run terrifies me because it's Boulder Geist, the boss, the boss that I... You may, you may remember well that I sort of sucked at this boss, and so I am a wee bit worried. What's funny though is I was going to talk in this episode, or I was going to talk at the beginning of this episode, about how it's sort of nice in this game that, um, it's sort of nice that you start off with, um, four lives every time, and then it seems like a large percentage of the time, on top of starting you off with four lives, um, like, they start you off with four lives, but on top of that, you also get the added bonus of um, getting... Usually, Princess Peach will send you a letter that is offering you even more lives, and I've always been very grateful for that just because, you know, you have sort of an added bonus, like, on top of the fact that you start off with four lives. So... What I was getting at is, even though you don't get to start off with any extra lives that you earned, if you're someone like me who tends to suck it up half the time, it's actually very nice- Oh! That was- that was stupid. I was already running out of the way and then I was just dumb. So that was a perfect example of, as I was saying, uh, it's great that they start you off with some lives in the beginning every time. Because if you're like me, and you tend to get your ass handed to you a lot, like, you know, like I just did, it's great that they are nice enough to kind of like pop you off every time and be like, hey, you probably suck, so we're gonna give you, Princess Peach is gonna send you a fiver today. Dang it, he keeps on punching, and I don't want him to punch right now, there we go, that's what I want to happen. But yeah, it's just super nice if you're, there we go, look at that, that's easy enough to dodge. I hope he just keeps on doing- oh no, he's doing this move. That move is fine, except for sometimes it's, it's a little bit rough. Ooh, that got a little bit rough there for a second, but I believe in my daredevil and skills. I will- you know, to be 100% honest, I don't. In fact, I think I should be always running sideways. Okay, we got that, and we're gonna get a second hit right here. Oh, yes! Dude, I'm gonna be honest, um, in my previous playthroughs of this game, I have very much struggled with this boss Daredevil run. It took me probably like a shit ton of tries. Whereas this time, I mean, technically, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be super honest. I could have just cut out like 80 tries just now, but you see I'm still at nine lives and I just got an, or was it eight? I just got a one up. I totally did not cut out any tries. That was my second try. Although sometimes there are times where in if you're ever watching my Super Mario Galaxy 2 or my Super Mario 3D World playthrough, yeah. you will totally know as a viewer of one of those series that there was definitely times when if you were counting my one-ups in the corner, you would know that I died in the 50s of times. There was one star that oh. Oh. Oh, I'm done with this galaxy. Yeah, there was totally times though that you could just, if you were counting the stars, or my lives, you'd be like, Raktar just died 50 times. <laughs> so, and I would say it too. Well, I would never say the number because I wouldn't be counting, but I'd always be like, oh my gosh, if you guys knew how many times I just died, my embarrassment would be unbelievable. But I was always very honest about the fact that I died a bunch of times. But, but by the way, since the enemy base has already been spotted, uh, things are pretty good. Oh, you know what? Where should we- where even should we begin? I guess if we're going in order, but we can't know what order that question mark- actually, we can. It doesn't say its number on it. We can go to Gusty Garden. Let's see- let's just break these places open. I'm not gonna break open the Bowser place, and I've ac actually got sort of a funny reason. Oh, this is a B place. Let's be B, Mario. I've got a funny reason for not breaking open the Bowser level, and that's because it changes the music! And then the music, it, it changes just the music in the actual area that, in the galaxy dome that you're in, and when you're in the level select for the dome that you're in, but what it does, like I said, is it changes the tunes and makes them, like, angry tunes instead of happy tunes, 
and I don't want that. I love the happy tunes. Speaking of happy tunes, we get this sweet song which, oh gosh, I'm sure I should be super embarrassed if I don't know what this song is from. I want to say so badly that this song is from uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 because there's really no way in hell I know I know the super oh shit do they move oh they always move whatever we'll just land on this one fuck it we don't need to land on that look at those those are just there for losers who don't know what's going on but yeah this song has got to be a Super Mario Brothers 3 song and my my reasoning for that is the fact oh crap Oh gosh. Okay, look at that. We just get the star. The reasoning for that is because I am pretty familiar with Super Mario Brothers 3 music and I'm not super familiar with Super Mario. Actually, goddamn, I'm very You know what's funny is even though I've never beaten Super Mario World, I've played a lot of it but never beaten it. I'm still reasonably damn familiar with it. Like I'm surprisingly familiar with it considering the fact that I haven't played played it probably from watching a shit ton of speed Ooh, oh my gosh oh my gosh I actually I love it when uh, there's a bunch I don't know why I love it but I seriously love it when there's just a crap ton of um when there's like a crap oh no 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 when there's like a crap ton of star bits in the air and especially when it's just kind of like sudden and random because you like sit there and you're just expecting a nice little jaunt through the the st oh crap, get out of there. Whew. There we go. That's the way to do it. You're just expecting a nice little- Oh, get on the wall, you dick! Fuck. <laughs> You're just expecting, like, a nice little jaunt through space. But what you get instead of a nice little jaunt through space is an absolutely insane, crazy, out-of-this-world flail your hand around and pray for as many star bits as you can. And I don't know, it's just always really fun to me because you're like, Okay, flying through space, having a good time, and they're like, shit, I gotta shake my Wiimote like a madman! I don't even know how many of those got- look at- look at this! 181 star bits here, like... I may not be rocking the- in the free world, but- oh, oh... I see- I see what's- I, I see what you're stepping in. But dude, I may not be rocking in the free world right now, but at least I'm rocking the, the freaking star bits USA right now. Oh, dude. Okay. So they only- Dude, they only come to those spots. Well, that makes that easy enough. These guys are suckers. They don't even- oh. Dude, these guys are not suckers. They are adding an extra- look, I'm up to 13 lives. Even though I've already lost two lives in this video. Alright, so I already know there's a dude there. We just gotta fly to these ones, and that way we're- Oh no! We're not safe! We're not safe at all! I was tricked! Actually, I was not tricked. I will be honest. Nobody sat there and tried to tell me that I was gonna be safe there. It was just a random- oh, he's not gonna- oh, he's only gonna- okay. They can hear you, I guess? Yep. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. These dudes are not nice. All right, well, let's just not fly near them. We got the star right there. We can do this. Oh, no. Land. Okay, here we go. Oh, my gosh. That was so- I got a little bit scared there because I thought he was gonna bite my booty right before I got that star, and the fear crept up inside of my heart and metal music began playing in the background and I got scared and I called 911 and they were like 911 what's your emergency and I was like there is a pincer bug uh, with metal pincers trying to bite my butt and 911's like I don't think that's a real emergency and I'm like oh that's a real emergency I guess as though it's time now finally to jump into Gusty Garden Galaxy with question mark ass Island. I hope that Custy Garden Galaxy, it, fe it feels like from the looks of it that it might be a laid back level. And I mean, it's even called Bunnies in the Wind. If, that, if that's not laid back, just bunnies floating in the wind, then I don't know what it is. But what I was getting at is I hope that that means that this place is going to have sweet music. Also, this place, I hope that it's going to have... Oh, whoa. It's got... This is one of my... Okay. I will be... I will flip all my honesties with you right now. This is absolutely one of my favorite, 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 favorite songs in this whole game. I always forget. Now, this is going to be, you're going to be like, Raktor, how would you say this is one of your favorite songs if you always forget? I always forget which levels this song appears in. But 
this is like one of the songs that made me realize that I'm just like, oh my god, I am in love with this game. So, by the way, I'm gonna tell you something a little bit sad and disappointing. I had, when I came to this level and I saw the things floating, and I think I was about to mention it. Oh, oh no, whatever. I was about to mention the fact that I thought maybe there was gonna be, um, whoa, whoa, oh gosh. I'm trying to collect the star bits and spin at the same time. I thought there was gonna be Cloud Suit in this game is what I'm trying to say. And I like love Cloud Suit. Cloud Suit is absolutely one of my favesy wavesy um, suits in Mario Galaxy. But then I sort of had this remembery. It's a remembery. It's remember. It's a combination of remembering and memory. And I had this remembery that Cloud Suit is totally not from this game. I'm almost certain that Cloud Suit is actually. Oh, there we go. Cloud Suit is almost 100% most certainly a thing from Super Mario Galaxy 2, but that's okay because this level may not have... Oh, oh, am I finding secrets right now or am I finding... Oh, it looks like I'm finding Main Route. Main Route's okay. It's... Oh, shit. Whoa. I gotta jump on this guy and get a... Oh, no. No, no, no. I wanted his coin. Oh, shit poop. Whatever. I guess we're just gonna have to hope to all high holy hell that I get a- Oh, there's coins! Did you see that? There- Oh, well, there's a coin. I was about to say, I don't know how I got so low on health in, in a, like, a place like this, but luckily we can plant some bits, grab a coin. I like how the bees are afraid of real Mario, but they're not afraid of- Can you jump on these guys and- Yeah! Oh, you have to! Great! Well, that's perfect! You have to jump on these guys, so you can do whatever the things are. Oh, well- where those bits come from? I don't even know where those... Oh, no. 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 This is probably gonna ask me to chase bunnies. You think you can catch me, Bioing? All right. I'm gonna say... Now, this is a pretty... This is a pretty great song. Okay. Let's be honest here. I'm not angry with this song. But I was a pretty... You probably gathered from viewing that I was pretty happy with the fact that they had the amazing music here. My fav- one of my fazy wavesy tunes. Oh, he almost- dude, he almost got tricked by my mistake. <laughs> I was about to say tricked by my insane skills, but then I was like, that's not what happened. What happened was I accidentally- Dude, this guy's way too fast. I don't understand, like, if you are supposed to rely on him making a mistake. Or if you're just supposed to use, like, pure Mario skills to catch him. Oh. Maybe you're supposed to... Maybe you're just supposed to, like, follow him through a certain route. And then once you follow him through the whole route, he'll, like, get caught on something or... I lost him. Great. Where are you? Oh, no. There you are, bunny. You damn bunny. Is he gonna do the same route again? If he is, I might have to, uh... Alright. Alright. I am going to cut to me catching him, because I don't know how long I'm going to be involved in this mess. Oh, I got him. There we go. Cool. That was actually... I guess you do just have to follow him. I don't know if there was any kind of, like, set route that that thing was following or not, but... I did that... Dude, catch him easily. I can't... That was hard for me to catch him. But I guess he feels like it was easy. That means... Dude, that scares me. That means that that bunny has an even greater level of bunny evasion in him than I had originally expected, and that scares me. To think that that bunny... I had kind of a hard time catching him, and that bunny believes that it was... easy, so... guess what? That means I'm gonna have to run into that bunny again, and it's gonna be rough. All bunnies aside, though, it looks like we have a boss battle level coming up. The Dirty Tricks of Major Burrows. The only thing that I can really hope for with the dirty tricks of Major Burrows. Oh, and there's a bunny. Oh, he's torturing that little bunny. Yeah, it's not like... I shouldn't feel bad for that bunny. Those bunnies were essentially torturing me. Like, why should I sit here and be like, what is Major Burrows doing to that... Oh, get a thing. Damn it, Mario. Like, why should I sit there and care about the fact that Major Burrows is being mean to that bunneroo? Oh, I got it. All right, cool. Okay, so I guess you have to get all of them and you get a cool secret. But yeah, I should really have no sympathy 
for these Bonaroos because they are withholding stars and stars are like oh oh I fucked up this is gonna be death for sure bye goodbye cruel world Oh, that's what you get if you get all the things. You get a shat ton of star bits to plop into your star bit hungry mouth. Oh, here's some burrow guys, but this is not, this is not major burrows. This is just rando, oh shit. This is just rando face McBurrowson, and albeit rando face McBurrowson is probably a bad dude too, rando face McBurrowson is not major burrows. Back to what I was saying though, before I fudged everything up. I was gonna point out, oh dude, there's, we might have to kill all the rando face McBurrowsons here. By the way, there's a double stack, maybe that, oh no, I thought maybe they double stacked it to like, signify that there's better sweet sweet tickets underneath. Alright, oh no, you gotta be closer than that I guess. Alright, burrow, oh we gotta get, crap, I'm trying to get too many burrow dudes at once. I'm not focusing on just one burrow dude, which would be probably my key to the glory. Alright, here we go, this burrow dude's closer. Oh, they tricked me! They had actually not tricked me. In fact, if I just stick on their direct path, there won't be any spikes. Alright, this guy's going down. Nope. Whatever. Get over here! Yeah! There we go. Murder is the name of the game, my friend. I am sorry, but Mario is a convicted felon. He is a serial killer. I wish that it were different. Holy shit! Oh, this is the question mark planet that I was talking about earlier. This planet has, like, a ridiculous um, shape that makes it sort of like challenging to keep track of like where you actually are on it. I sort of have a love-hate relationship with those types of planets in this game because like part of me, oh my gosh, did you see how long I was flying there? I wish the gravity were working to my favor so I could like jump ahead of this guy. I got tired of this dude's antics so I just waited for him. I was like, screw you man, I hate your ways, the gravity on this world Really weirdly shaped worlds like this, I sort of always wish that you could just sort of like hop from this side to that side using the gravity. Because it almost makes sense the way that you can hop between like different planets that they do intend for you to hop between sometimes. I feel like it's fair. What is going on here? We're in, uh. Oh. Oh, I bet that. Oh, it's too late now. I bet that that's a secret star and that you can pull star. What the. Oh, it's a bridge. Cool. Oh, it's I'm on an apple right now. I, in all honesty, I had no idea what in the name of high holy fuck was going on. And then I was like, oh, these are totally apples with worms on them. But of course, they're not actually worms. They're Wigglers. I wonder if you, if you can, oh, by the way, this guy's going to be pissed when he gets up. So we got to get out of here. We just got to take my sweet, sweet apple worm bridge across this. I wonder now if I can get another worm to go to some other... No way, there's no other... It just occurred to me there can't be any other worm secrets and the reason that there can't... Oh shit. The reason there can't be any other worm secrets now is because... Oh! Oh, you have... You do because you have to use them to get up to this thing. Okay. I was like, there can't be any other worm secrets now because there's no more apples to go to. But it didn't even occur to me that it's not even about the apples. It's about... Well, dude, now I want to... Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh dude, that thing was gonna try and trick me into jumping into these spikes and I was having none of it. I bet that other one would've given me a one-up, but it's too late now. Bets are all I've got because it's now time to face the true fury of Major Burrows, who is just gonna, all right. Well, we luckily, we already know, oh shit. I was gonna say we already know the sweet, sweet trick to beating Major Burrows, maybe. I thought that I was supposed to do this, but apparently that's not the case at all. I'm shooting him with- what? Do you have to shoot him with things, or was that just random? Well, that seems to work, but I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. And how did I lose three things already? Dude, Major Burrows is really- oh, okay. You're supposed to ground pound while he's out. He will intermittently pop out of the ground if you're not doing- if you're not being a total idiot. I completely understand now. I wish only that I had understood at that time. He's gonna come- there we go. Alright, cool. And now we can ground pound, pop him out. You're not gonna get away from me, Major Burrows! I ain't scared of no burrow.
Oh shit. Technically now I feel like I should be afraid of him because he is not a friendly, he is the least friendly major burrow looking motherfucker I've ever seen. Nope. Oh, now's the time. Oh no, but he, oh shit. Oh, there we go. Got him. All right, major burrows. This is it. Sorry, friend. You have to die to save the Bunaroos that even though I said technically the Bunaroos are withholding stars, which means I should not be on their side. I wonder if I can go talk to that Bunaroo now. Hello, Bunaroo. I was just say, okay, whatever. Whatever, Bunaroo. Your friends are withholding stars, and stars help power a spaceship of people that could be dying if you don't give them up, so screw you, Bunaroo. And with that thought of Bunaroos, I'm gonna say this has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.